Hello and welcome to my review of the Astra Militarum Tech Priest Engine Seer. Um, the reason why I call it an Astra Militarum uh, Tech Priest Engine Seer is because he is a tech priest, but uh, if you type in tech priest into Games Workshop's website, um, it will come up with the uh, old either metal or I think it is fine cast tech priest, which is like seven pounds £7. fifty. It comes up with the old fine cast uh, tech priest engine seer two. Um, it doesn't come up with this engine seer, which is odd. Now this tech priest engine seer will cost you eighteen pounds, and I did actually make a review um, on the seventeenth of June two thousand and sixteen, to be precise. Now the reason why I'm doing another review of uh, the Engine Seer is mainly because of the 8th edition rules and also because of Skitari. Before you couldn't necessarily use this Engine Seer uh, with Skitari or, or Mechanicum or Adeptus Mechanicus. However, with the advent of 8th edition Adeptus Mechanicus Codex, he is now an entry in the army. So I thought I would... Uh, make a, a new review uh, for him. Um, he costs £18, still on Games Workshop's website. Um, this is him here. He's uh, pretty funky looking, um, you know, he's a work in progress obviously, but uh, I've yet to colour his cloak red in a nice sort of scarlet red, um, shade uh, the model with null oil and uh, pick out all the details and things. But he's got this really nice looking axe, he, he's got this servo arm, he's got like a uh, servo skull as well, a load of cabling. He looks like he's ready to to, to build or to repair or something along those lines uh, to do with machines. Um, he looks very equipped. You don't have to choose this uh, engine seer for £18. Forge World do a Titan Tech Priest, um, which I wouldn't have any uh, qualms you using if you were playing against me. And the Forge World one is actually cheaper. He's a bit smaller though. <laughs> he is 15 pounds and uh, as you can see, he's on the smaller 25 mil base. Well, the base is actually um, modeled and already sort of detailed for you. Um, but uh, again, this Titan Tech Priest has some servo arms going on and he has a servo skull and he has a, a, a longer ax. I don't know if there's a competition, but he does have a longer ax. Um, he looks, I want to say, less augmented. Uh, definitely scale-wise, he looks a bit, a bit of a midget compared to, uh, you know, the the engine seer. But then the Titan Tech Priest probably has to get into small crevices and things, and um, you know, so you'd you'd want a smaller Tech Priest walking about your your Titan. But I just thought I'd uh, add this guy uh, to the review um, as kind of like an alternative if you didn't want to spend, you know, that much money on the on the engine seer but you still wanted a cool looking, uh, you know, engine seer or, or tech priest really. The other option, um, which again, if you were my opponent, I wouldn't mind you, you using, is the Cybernetica Datasmith. Now the only way to get him though, is with uh, the Castellan robots. Um, so, but uh, if you wanted to use him as a, as a tech priest, again, if I was uh, an opponent, I wouldn't really um, kick up too much fuss. The only problem really with using the data smith is uh, the lack of an axe at all. Um, so, yeah, that's the only sort of downside with using him. But uh, anyway, back to uh, the review of the tech priest engines here. Uh, obviously, £18. I think that's quite a lot of money. Um, to be fair, I think fifteen pound, uh, sort of in the same vein as the uh, Death Guard single miniatures, that would have been uh, you know a bit better uh, price. But uh, you know he is what he is. Um, if you wanted to get one, it's still cheaper than a, a Tech Priest Dominus. Um, but you know Tech Priest Dominus is is a bit larger. What I'll do is I'll I'll just show you some size comparisons. So so next to a, a normal Space Marine, um, he's pretty much I want to say taller. He is taller than the Space Marine, look, if you see that. Uh, definitely head-wise. So he's very tall, actually, in the grand scheme of things. Next to a Primaris, though, obviously Primaris is, is taller. Um, you know, he's a whole head taller than uh, this engine seer. So hope that helps. Um, maybe next to a Catafron uh, Destroyer. Um, size comparison. So yeah, he's smaller than a Catafron Destroyer, but he'd work quite well. Uh, you know, around around them. Uh, definitely fits in with the aesthetic of uh, Skitari. Definitely fits in with the aesthetic of uh, 
Adeptus Mechanicus. Now we're into my part of the review where I will go through all of the rules and things for the Tech Priest Engine Seer. Now in a way, for the Adeptus Mechanicus army, you've pretty much got three HQ choices to draw from. Not when you look at Necrons that have uh, a fair number. Even Custodes have uh, more than um, uh, Mechanicus. You don't get many choices uh, with the Mechanicus army. Um, you've got the big guy himself, which is Belisarius uh, Core, which is, you know, cost of a land raider pretty much. You've got a Tech Priest Dominus, and then you've got a Tech Priest Engine Seer. So this is like the lower tier of the HQ choices um, in the Mechanicus army. However, he still holds his own. Um, in a way, I'd say he's similar to uh, a chaplain, almost. So his power points cost is a three. Now that's less than half the cost of the Tech Priest Dominus. Um, match play points cost, he will set you back uh, 40 points, which is very reasonable compared to a Dominus, which is 125 points base. Now his Omniscient Axe, like the Dominus and Belisarius, uh, comes as free. His Flashlight, I mean uh, Laz Pistol, is also free. But his Servo Arm, he's going to have to pay a whopping 12 points. So already, 52 points. That's pretty decent. Super, super cheap. Um, so, his stat line then. Movement is 6 inches, his weapon skill and ballistic skill are 4+, plus. his strength, toughness and wounds are all 4, he's got 2 attacks, leadership 8 and a save of 3+. Plus. That's not too bad, you know, 50-50 for hitting and shooting and 4 wounds, 2 attacks, yeah it could, it could be 3, but uh, that's not too bad at all. It's only one less wound than the Dominus, and the save is only one worse at a 3 plus. Um, let's face it, he's got the same save of, as a Space Marine, and that's without counting his uh, Bionics ability, which we'll talk about in a moment. So his weapons then. He's got the Flash, I mean, Blaz Pistol, a uh, range of 12 inches, um, so Strength 3 and Damage 1. It's pretty weak. He'd probably be better off with a Super Soaker. However, his Omniscient Axe is a Strength plus 1, so it's Strength 5, AP minus 2, Damage 2. That's quite decent. Um, I'd typically be expecting him to be a Strength 3 and Toughness 3, but he's not. His Servo Arm, however, doubles his Strength to 8, AP minus 2, and Damage 3. However, you can only... However, the Servo Arm can only be used to make one attack uh, each time the model fights and when the model attacks with a weapon, you subtract one from the hit roll. So it's kind of like a, so it's kind of like a thunder hammer in that regard, you know, um, you subtract in the one from the hit roll, but it's doubling the strength to eight. So you've got two attacks, one at strength eight, and one at strength five, AP minus two. That's, that's pretty decent. So his we range weaponry isn't very good at all. However, his melee is quite strong although he doesn't have many attacks to, to make use of that. Abilities, he's got the Canticles of the Omnissiah, which I will talk about because he is an HQ choice, and I like to do this for Belisarius and uh, the Tet Priest Dominus. I'll talk about them in a moment. He's got Bionics, which is a six plus invulnerable save. So he's got three plus normal, six plus invulnerable, and then he's got Master of Machines. So at the end of the movement phase, the model can repair a single friendly Forge World vehicle, Astra Militarum vehicle, or Questor Mechanicus model within three inches. If the model being repaired is a Forge World or Astra Militarum model, it regains D3 loss wounds. If it is a Questor Mechanicus model, it regains one loss wound. A model may not be the target of the Master of Machines ability more than once per turn. That's nice. So he's got this Master of Machines ability where he can just um, repair D3 lost wounds or for the Questor Knights, um, one, one wound. So that's a nice little, you know, he does have to be quite close though within the three inches. His keywords, Imperium, Adeptus Mechanicus, Cult Mechanicus, Forge World, Character, Infantry and Tech Priest Engine Seer. Now that's everything that you could hope and wish for, for a model that's only 52 points and a power level of, of 3. I would have liked uh, an upgrade, uh, maybe that he could pick a different weapon, um, or maybe he's got a hidden flamer somewhere, or, or something like that. That would have been nice. This is the Mechanicum, they make all the armour and the weaponry and the ammunition and things for the whole of the galaxy, 
and they give him a flat a lance pistol but you can't complain too much so canticles of the omnicycle i like to touch on the canticles when i talk about the hq choices so these ones you can choose them or you can roll a d6 whichever you you want to do if you choose them then you can't use them again if you roll them then you you can so there's six in total uh, the first one is incantation of the iron soul um, you can re-roll failed morale tests for affected units uh, number two is litany of electromancer you roll a d6 for each enemy unit that is within one inch of any affected units on a roll of a six the unit being rolled for suffers d3 mortal wounds uh, number three is chant of the remorseless fist you can re-roll any hit rolls of a one uh, for affected units in the fight phase shroud, shroud psalm affected units gain a bonus to their armor saving throws as if they were in cover invocation of machine might which is number five affected units have plus one strength and number six, Benediction of the Omnissiah. You can re-roll hit rolls of one for affected units in the shooting phase. So the Canticles are, are a nice little buff, um, you know, that this Tech Priest can um, give to uh, other units that have um, Canticles of the Omnissiah. That includes um, the Onega Dune Crawlers. It includes uh, the Iron Striders, the Electro Priests the Rust Talkers, the Infiltrators, uh, the Data Smiths, and the Servitors even, the Destroyers, the Breachers, uh, and the Rangers and Vanguard. So it pretty much includes everything except for the, the Knights. So really useful uh, ability to have, and even if you're paying 52 points just for, you know, that ability to re-roll uh, hit rolls of a one, uh, or even in both the fight phase or the, the shooting phase, that's quite quite excellent in my book. So in summary, a very cheap little unit, punches above his weight, uh, he's got a good save, he's got a, quite a standard stat line, um, an okay movement speed, he's got a lot of wounds, he only has two attacks though. Um, how would I use him? I'd be using him to repair those wounds uh, for all of your um, other units and I'd be using him to use the canticles of the Omnissiah. I wouldn't really want him in close combat um, unless there was maybe a tank nearby that he could charge uh, and use that servo arm but again that would probably bog him down he might not be able to destroy that tank or whatever it is in one go definitely going to need support. However uh, another usage for him would be for mind lock um, for servitors. I still don't understand why servitors are elite but uh, if you use him in conjunction with servitors this tech priest uh, will improve uh, their weapon skill and ballistic skill to four plus their leadership to nine which jokingly is actually more than the, the engine seer himself which is quite funny um, and uh, uh, and he does that simply by being within six inches of them so so if you are taking servitors uh, he could be uh, like a little buff for them um, just to improve their weapon skill and ballistic skill. Um, they only have one attack, so with Servitors I'd lean more towards the shooting ability of them, uh, either with heavy bolters, multi-melters or plasma cannons even. Having him at the back with the Servitors firing the plasma cannons would be decent. Um, you can only have two of them anyway with those uh, ranged weapons. The unit contains four and you can only have two of them with the ranged weapons. So he's still going to have a bit of defense with the other two having servo arms so that's just another use for him and um, but if you don't want to spend too many points if you don't want to go all in with a tech priest dominus he's a great little uh, option which means you can spend more of your your hundreds of points and things on uh, destroyers or onega tanks or whatever anyway what do you guys think of the tech priest engines here have you used one recently or do you always use one in your games please do put it in the comments below thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects